Guys, we have the mail time of my life. Oops. So I've got three packages, right? This one, this one, and this one. And what is inside here is probably the coolest thing I've ever, ever been involved in. Now, ordinarily on YouTube, I'd open this one last, but screw that, because I want to see what's in here and get a feel for it as well. Guys, now you may be thinking, but that's just a knife. This is the first ever knife designed by yours truly, EDC for the EDG. I officially designed a knife. Okay, now let me take you through. Now, so this, this is going to be something that is for sale if you do want it. Let me take you through this knife from head to toe. I, by the way, guys, I really designed this knife. Like, I don't know if you can see, I actually, I actually drew this knife by hand prior to it becoming what it is. Okay, blade steel in 690. Let's go from butt to tip. Okay, at the back, we have got a glass breaker. We've got an ergonomic fingering because nothing in your body is truly round. It fits so perfectly. It's truly round. On the fingering, we have impact crenulations. So if the situation escalates to lethal but de-escalates to non-lethal, you can still use it as an impact weapon. Although I don't recommend that, but it's there if you need it. Now, design. As you can see, there's a bit of a palm swell. The knife itself is, I think, four millimeters thick, if my memory serves me correctly. Uh, yeah, three millimeters. By the way, this has been like almost two months in the making. So, excuse me if I can't remember everything exactly. Um, now, what you'll notice is there is uh, jumping, but on the inside, why there? Well, quite simply, if you grip this knife like this and your hand slides down the blade with your thumb, that's not so bad. By the way, the blade edge at the rear of the blade only starts over there so you can rest your full thumb and if it does slide it slides forward and off it's impossible to slide well it's not impossible but highly likely for it to slide forwards and down but it won't slide why because the crenulations are on the inside your hand can't go anywhere it's impossible for your hand to go anywhere if you want to grip it like that your hand can't go forward i can't pull this knife out of my hand because there's um jumping on the inside having jumping on the back end here if your hands are wet oily bloody your hands are gonna slide but having it in here there is no place for your hand to slide i can't pull this blade out of my hand i thought about it okay now where's the sheath what did i do okay so have a look we're still gonna get to the design of the blade so have a look at this right Let's say you're carrying it on your left hand side, okay, and your chosen grip is a reverse grip. If you grab the blade, per let's say you grab the blade perfectly, finger in the retention ring, you are good to go. Let's say it's a tussle and you don't grab the blade perfectly, you are still good to go because of the jumping and the, the angle on the inside here, right? But what happens if for whatever reason, your left hand side is incapacitated. You reach across and if you don't get the perfect grip, it comes out and you still have a tool that you can use because of that jumping and the shape of the, uh, call it the safety edge, your hand can't slide down the blade no matter what you hit. But if you do grab it perfectly, your finger goes into the retention ring, it comes out and now it's perfect. You can go to work. You can break glass, you can punch. What I do like about it is if you need to cut restraints, you can rest your finger on the back of the blade. It is not sharp and you can cut, you can do fine work if you need to cut a t-shirt off someone, that sort of thing. But similarly, if you need to go to work, you've got a tool. What you'll notice is the blade is double-edged. It is not a long blade. It's not a big sheath. Why? 
I really did not want the sheath to be any to be much longer than the width of a standard gun belt. That way when you put it inside the waistband, you don't really even feel it. You can carry it anywhere inside the waistband and you won't feel it at any angle as well. Okay, the blade, like I said, ultra sharp, short edge, long edge, it is double edge, it will go in, it will cause damage. The reason I didn't want it to be too long is because if you needed to do something administrative, you didn't have this long thing sticking out of your hand. The further the blade gets away from your hand in terms of blade length, the less control or the more training you'll need to have control over the tip. Okay, think of it like, what's a good example, like a torque wrench. If you lengthen the grip, you increase the torque, right? Similarly, if you've got a long blade and, you, and it goes into something and it gets torqued, if, that, if the blade is long, it's either going to snap or torque back into your hand. This is as little as possible, as much as is necessary. Okay, also for administrative tasks, if you need to clear cover garment, if you need to push someone out of the way, it's not a huge curved, really strange looking blade where you can't really tell where the tip is. You can do a lot. You can drive your freaking car if you need it to with your hand. Like the, I, I don't recommend it, but you get what I'm saying? Now, the thin blade, you might wonder why, so that you can do things like run your firearm. Just one second. So that you can do things like clear your cover garment, run your firearm, get a reasonably good grip, tap, rack, go on. We are empty guys, don't worry. We are super empty and safe. Uh, yeah, there. So, because it's thin, you can hold it in your hand. And this is what I mean when I say retention. I don't even, well, I do sometimes mean retention as in if we get into a scuffle, then I retain my blade. But more retention to where if I need to do something else, I can still have my blade in my hand. Ideal situation, I sw swing it over my hand. Now I clear my cover, cover when it comes up, and I get a full grip. This is, this is a full master grip on my firearm and my blade is still there. My firearm goes down, bring my blade back into the game, clear my cover garment tuck in, and we are still good to go. <laughs> there are three people who know you want this, you, me, and you, right? Okay, now, I'm the everyday guy, right? I'm also really excited right now. So, when I, when, when myself and, and Eddie and Micro Mojo and I've thought about this, when I approached them, and I approached a few guys, I needed people who were really agile, who were willing to take a chance on something different from someone who never invented a blade, right? But I, I, I had really done my homework, as I do with everything that I do. And I said to them, and we, yeah, I said to them, but we also came to the conclusion, we didn't want it to be expensive. I wanted it to be accessible to the everyday guy. So through Eddie and Mike's from Mojo Knives amazing work, um, and the amazing patience with me, I'm not, a, I'm not the best person to design anything with guys because I am pedantic. Like everything has to be perfect. You can now get this, well not now, firstly, before, you, before I talk about when you can get it. As with everything guys, I've got to review it first. I've got to spend time with it, I've got to live with it. I've got to prove to myself that this is truly a good product before I can sell it to you. It's going to be available on my website soon when I'm happy for it to be available. And when I say soon, I mean I'm not talking about months, I'm talking about within about the next seven to ten days just let me live with it for a bit let me let me i have to be honest to you guys right i i, I would be really hypocritical if i started selling this before i started living with it one is also going up to uh, the guys from global phalanx you might want to know why because they've actually global phalanx kinetic solutions and global phalanx because they've actually used knives in real combat they are probably the only people I know of who actually used knives to save their own lives in real combat. So I want them to get the feel for it, understand it, and um, when I do a review, at least I have their opinion as well. And I've got to be fair to you guys. I can't put it on sale yet, but within about the next 7 to 10 days, I think we're going to have the go-ahead on putting it on sale. It's going to be on sale on my website, 950 950 bucks. We, 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 we back and forth about the price. I was like, guys, it's too cheap. They were like, it's just right. They were like, it's too expensive. I was like, it's too cheap. It was crazy. We on 950 because I wanted to be accessible to everybody. Now, we, we really wanted to come in at under 900, at, at under 1000 rand, sorry. And at 950, that is, that is just enough to where we can continue to make this. If we go any less, then parties involved start losing money. Right, 
um, we are not, this is, I could sell a thousand of these, it's not going to make me a millionaire. And it's not going to make Eddie or Mike from, listen to that freaking car. It's not going to make Eddie or Mike from Mojo Knives a millionaire either. Right? Um, and I have to say a huge thank you to those two guys because they, I'm not an easy person to deal with. And they dealt with me really, really well. Um, really open to the design. They accepted that I wanted to try something different, something away from the norm. I wanted to present something to the everyday guy who's not going to be able to get to a knife course. Right? And that, that person isn't a bad person. Okay? Maybe he's got a family, maybe he's got responsibilities, maybe he doesn't have money. Right? It does not mean he must not have the, a tool to defend himself. And that's what this genuinely is. I call, not really just to defend yourself, I call it an emergency tool. You know, if you needed to, you could, um, you could break a glass with this. If you needed to use the, the glass breaker at the back. If you needed to cut someone's restraints, you could do so. Total control. I think it's a freaking fillet. It's, uh, it's sharp. Oh, it is quite sharp, right? It's freaking sharp. Decent blade still N690. The sheath, I wanted it to be as minimal as possible. You can play around with it. I mean, there's, there's just enough kydex here for blade. You know what I mean? <sighs> Guys, we made a knife. And I think it's beautiful. Right? EDC for the EDG. And Mojo Knives. Come on, focus, you pig. And Mojo Knives collaboration 100% EDC for the EDG design Mojo Knives 100% in the creation of this design without them this would not be possible I have to say a huge thank you to them for will be willing to take a chance on me um, because Mojo Knives are a reputable brand and I'm not a reputable brand in the knife world but hopefully hopefully this comes comes through guys this is going to be available on my website within the next within the next coming days I do it. So, okay. So one other thing, the ones that I sell to the general public are not going to be black. They're going to be stone washed, which is this right here. Exactly the same blade, all the same names. By the way, guys, if you ever get a blade like this and it does not have EDC for the EDG in it, it is not the EDC for the EDG blade. It is something someone copied and tried to rip off, whatever the case may be. All my blades will have my name on it, right? Um, and call me, I don't, mean, I don't mean to be selfish about this, but I just wanted my one to be black, to be original, right? This is, this is now one of one, this is, this, is number, this is blade number two, and I've got three and four here as well. What you can do, if you really want this now, and you're like, Ryan, I'm going to buy that for damn sure, pop me a mail to edc for the edg at gmail.com, and just say, Ryan, I'm happy with the price, I'm not going to take any money from you, I would like to secure the first order for when they go on sale. What I will do is I'll get back to you and say, cool dude, you're number three in the queue, one in the queue, whatever the case may be in the queue. As soon as we get our, our first or next batch, you will get first preference. If you decide not to take it, no problem. Maybe your financial situ situation has changed. I'm not going to hold you to anything, right? I'm just going to secure one for you in good faith. So I'm going to ask if you do that. Be a decent person and be like, you know, be willing to buy it right um but man it's proud like if i you know what i'll be honest if i don't sell any i'll be super proud because there aren't many people who are going to go well, there aren't many people in life who've designed their very own blade and it's actually been made you know that's that's the victory already right there and i there, there are more designs coming um I, I really want to apply my methodology to to different blade options because I know not everyone carries the same kind of blade, but I do think in this one we've got the answer to everything. No matter how you want to draw this guy, carry this guy, it will work and it'll work well. Forget that if you don't like the fingering, don't use it. You don't have to use it. This is a this is a proper grip. You can use this knife like this. You can use this man, you can use this knife like this. This will ugh, it'll jack someone up. I'm so proud of this and cannot be thankful enough to firstly you guys because without you guys who watch my channel none of this would even be remotely possible okay so a massive thank you to you guys and then thank you to Eddie and Mike from Mojo Knives for making this a possibility guys I'm obviously going to do a full review as soon as I'm happy that this is something I would give to Michelle to carry or my dad to carry 
then I will make it for sale on the site. I'm going to carry it 24-7. I'm going to push to get it on the website as soon as possible. Once it's there, place your orders. I'll be talking more about it um, in terms of turnaround time and how we're going to go about this. But can you believe it? The little South African EDC YouTube channel that could has designed a knife. Wow. We've come a long way. Okay. Now the next packages. Well, how am I gonna how am I gonna hype up the next packages with what we've just saw, what we've just seen? Jeez. So this is from Dean at Pundi. Pundikono Training Consultants um, and this is going to surprise you right this is really going to surprise you as to what this is I was training with Dean a few weeks ago and uh, that training video is out this Sunday and oh we've, we've got a is this a letter? oh this is an actual letter okay I'm going to read this letter to you uh, wow, it's a lot. I ran was asked by Dean uh, to make up the enclosed hand restraints. You should find the following two standard length, uh, three millimeter cordage, two black, two OD green, two standard length, two millimeter cordage, one black, one red. These are not paracord, they are made from polyester with a static brake load of 150 to 200 kilograms for the two millimeter and three millimeter respectively. The, while paracord is certainly useful stuff, it's the wrong cordage for this application. Wow. There are other types of line that I could use to increase resistance and temperature abrasion uh, or abrasion attacks, but they come at a bit of a penalty cost, UV resistance, etc. Uh, and therefore the line should be, uh, therefore the line uses the best balance I found available locally. You will find I have constructed these two using the most common decorative stopper knots uh, that I use for these builds. One could simply use an overhand knot, but when carried on the wrist, I prefer to maintain a decorative look. I myself am more, more of a corporate environment than Dean uh, and, use a, and use a more decorative weave onto my wrist than Dean does so the knot does, does look the part. The reason the simpler decorative knot is used for me sometimes is the fact that the simple version is five times faster to create than the more decorative version. For carry in other locations, um, the look of the stop knot becomes less important but since I make them myself, uh, all of my personal ones are made to look good. Since you have met Dean and Rids, that's Rid one from Esa Tactical Institute, um, and I discuss this topic, I'm sure I don't need to stress the fact that there are very serious legal considerations when one decides to infringe upon the constitutional right of freedom of movement of another person. There is also a matter of when and how to apply these tools correctly so they function as intended and do not create problems for yourself. If you have not had either of these discussions with Dean, I highly advise you to do so before you become one of those all the gear but no idea people um, who find themselves in the world of unexpected problems. If you have any questions, I'm sure Dean will be more than happy to discuss with you. Regards, Stephen. Wow, Stephen, that is a properly typed out message. I really appreciate that. So what these are, these are actually hand restraints, right? And I, and I saw Dean with him around his wrist. Okay, and I'm assuming it's something like this. And then you tighten it. Um, and he carries them around his wrist, sort of like, well, I'm going to I'm gonna have to set this up, but basically imagine something like, right, because obviously I've not had, had time now to set this up, but, he may, but I saw, it, saw him with it around his wrist, wrapped quite tightly, and he said these are hand restraints, and I thought that's a really, really useful thing to get my hands on, okay, because handcuffs on, you know, they're very showy, having something like this around your wrist, that you can use in a mo in a pinch to restrain someone if you have to and if it is lawful is a really cool idea and I have a couple you can speak to Dean from Fundicone if you do want these guys do remember there is a like uh, it says in letter um, you have a legal responsibility to not uh, detain someone unless uh, it is a lawful act I'm not going to go into that uh, but you know times are weird for us right now thank you Dean I think I'll do a video on how these work once you explain to me how you get them on your wrist, um, we'll go through that. But I really, really appreciate that you sent me these. And I got, a, got quite a couple, so that's really nice. That's very cool, actually. I wish I could put one on now, but then this video is going to last quite a bit. Okay, on to final package. Oh. It's always good 
when you see Wiley X. Wiley X. So the story behind this is I was speaking to Travis about um, my eye protection. I somehow lost all my eye protection. I don't know, like how do you lose all of it? My Glock eye protection broke. Like they literally disintegrated. Kind of disappointed by that. And then he saw I bought some and he was like, dude. I was like, dude, I know. And then he was like, dude. And I was like, well, dude. And then he was like, don't worry, dude. And then I got these. And it was like a full conversation. So these are the Wiley X Valors. For those of you who remember, I did a review on the Wiley X Saber Advanced. I will also be doing a review on, I wish I could have broken it off properly, on the Valors. That's not bad. Nice. nice, 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 nice. But what's nice about it is they also come with these uh, darkened lenses as well as a set of clear lenses. You know why? I want to wear eye protection almost 24-7 because you never know when you're going to need eye protection. And it dawned on me, why am I not wearing eye protection all the time? Because I wear to the range because I'm shooting. But what if I need to shoot in, in real life? Why am I not wearing eye protection? And Mavs gear was like, dude, I got your back, Jack. But I will also be reviewing it. You will see quite a bit of it on the channel. This stuff looks good, eh? I am a bad man. That looks good. That's the star of the show, right? That is the star of the show. Guys. My, so firstly, thank you to everyone who sent, who sent me stuff. Thank you to Dean. I'm sorry that it came across that, that like I was super excited about this, but this stole all my excitement. Guys, this knife, designed by me, created by Mojo Knives, is going to be 950 Rand. It's going to be on my store within about the next few days. If you want to secure yourself one, if you want, don't want to wait for the review, you want one and you want of the first batch, they are going to be coming to you in stone wash. It is the only color that they're going to be coming in. Um, another part of the reason for that is because we want to minimize costs. Pop me a mail to edc for the edg at gmail.com and I'll make sure that when they do come in, I give you a call and I say, hey buddy, send you a mail, knives a year, do you still want it? No money's going to exchange hands. You can, you're welcome to say no on the last minute. I'm not going to fight you on it. Fair is fair. It's a gentleman's handshake agreement. Uh, thank you to Travis from Mavs Gear. You will be seeing this a ton. Huge thank you to Dean. Dean is a, a wealth of knowledge, by the way. Like, Dean is probably one of the most knowledgeable human beings on policing training that I've ever come across. We spoke for a good three hours two days ago, and he didn't say the same thing twice. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you ever get the chance to train with Esa Tactical Institute and Dean from Dikono, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, this guy should be considered like a national treasure. The amount of experience this guy has, not just in South Africa, but overseas as well. And the people he's trained with, trained with some of the most real human beings that have walked this earth. So, uh, steal that knowledge, because we need to keep it, and we need to pass it on. Thank you very much for my restraints. I'll definitely be on the phone with you shortly as to how to use them. And guys, uh, that is it. More about everything. I know this was a bit of a weird video, because I myself am freaking out because of my, my, my... <laughs> knife um but just bear with me things will go back to normal soon that is it guys thank you for taking the time to watch this video let me know if you want one of these knives have a good week be safe train not cheers god bless